Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys how I decorated this little part of my house, which I'm gonna call it my little corner nook, and actually not gonna show you how I decorated, just showing you the DIYs that I used to decorate it. If you guys are wondering about this, bench this was a habitat for humanity upcycle that I will link down below so you guys can check it out um, other than that I'll just show you guys six different DIYs that I did with Dollar Tree items stuff around my house and then also Walmart supplies if this is your first time here welcome thank you so much for joining me I would love it if you became part of the DIY family by subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell so you're notified every time I upload a video and as a tradition here are my shout outs to all my lovely friends if you guys see your name on here you guys thank you guys so much for your support and your love I so so appreciate you guys if you guys want to shout out and want to see your name rolling down the screen like here make sure you guys leave me down in the comments hey send me a shout out if you have a friend or family or whoever that watches my channel also um, in that same comment so that they can see their lovely name added on to my shout outs all right so without making it too long let's get on to the DIY so we're gonna go ahead and start with this sign which I really wanted a statement piece for this little area in the house and even though it looks like a wooden sign it definitely is not um, I am actually using the back of a I don't even know what it was like a shelving unit I've had this thing sitting in the garage for like a couple of years now it's nice and wobbly you guys can see it's kind of bendy so obviously not real wood but you know what we're gonna make it look like it as close as possible I did use a total of 66 wooden blocks from Dollar Tree so I used two packs and so what I did first was take the very last of basically all my white acrylic paint I don't know what I'm gonna do when I'm out of it like actually I am out of it so um Anyways, I used some white acrylic paint and I just used a regular paintbrush to brush it on there. And what I like about this piece is that it's kind of porous, um, so it's not, the paint's not going to look super smooth. It does give it that like distressed look like it's actual wood, so I was actually really happy with that. So originally I was going to glue the wooden pieces around the faux wood piece but I decided to glue it on top. That way when I put my hangers on the back I can nail them through the piece of board and then through the Jenga blocks and that way they don't just completely fall off. And so I'm just going to take my wood, uh, my hot glue and just glue them on there. Usually I glue the Jenga pieces on their own and then attach them to whatever piece of board I'm doing but I just decided to do it this way to make sure that they're nice and straight and even and feel free to use foam board you guys know I use foam board for this type of stuff all the time so it definitely works on the wooden blocks that don't quite fit I just took a handsaw from Dollar Tree and then cut them and glued them on there and because you saw how wobbly this piece was when I lift it I try to grab it from both sides though so that it doesn't bend in the middle and then snap the pieces of the wooden blocks apart so usually when I make signs like this I always hand letter my words and Practice makes perfect. I know I've said that I'll show you guys like a tutorial for it and I'm still working on that. I just um, I just got to find the time to actually dedicate it so you guys can really learn from how I'm doing it. And honestly, the less I think about it when I'm writing, the better because the more I think about it, I do tend to mess up a little bit. So I got to do fluid lines and I'll just kind of let you guys watch what I'm doing um, without going too much into it. Before I do that though, just know that I usually just take a regular pencil to do my draft and then this pen is like a glass marker pen from Dollar Tree. This is one of my absolute favorites and it works really nicely. Will you be there to catch my fall? Need to be sure you hear my call. So 
So I took a sanding block from Dollar Tree and I just ran it across the lettering and that helped remove some of the glossiness from the pen and it, it just gave it like a faded look. I don't know, it looks really nicely up close. Um, you guys can see it, sort of distressed, perfect for like that farmhouse feel. And again, um, you know, just hand lettering with a pencil first and for this part I also took a Sharpie just to have more control because the um, Dollar Tree pen is more loose it's not as firm so I want to make sure that for this type of lettering I have something that's really going to be precise and I did the same thing with the sanding block over those letters okay so taking a mix of the deep brown from Dollar Tree some flesh from Craftsmart and then a little tiny droplet or two of the chalkboard paint from Dollar Tree and some water I mixed it to make a nice stain and I just use a sponge a sponge brush to brush it on there and then dry it as well I also did use a an old sock <laughs> to absorb any of the moisture from that um, faux paint I mean faux stain <laughs> here we go now I'm gonna start getting tongue-tied again This next DIY is super easy. So I'm gonna be taking one of these love signs from Dollar Tree. I have a couple of them in my stockpile. Just turn it around. I'm not gonna finish the backside cause you're not gonna see it. So taking that same stain and a sponge brush, <laughs> a sponge brush and staining it. So I did a couple of layers of it. So once that first layer is done, I did it take my old sock and I just sort of uh, dried it off. I guess I took that sanding block from Dollar Tree and just sanded it a little bit I wanted to make it look like a piece of wood as much as possible so just taking off that um, a little bit of that stain on certain sections not the whole thing after that I took another layer of the stain stained it a little bit and then repeated the process and I use a sawtooth hangers on the back to hang it up and I can feel within, I am black and blue can't explain what she really can't explain what she released when she said for the hooks, I use some old curtain rings and I have so many of them that I don't really use curtains that use curtain hooks anymore, so I'm not really gonna miss these. And I just made sure that these were gonna that these were gonna be aligned pretty straight on the board and I really just hot glued them. I'm gonna try not to hang anything too heavy because I don't want them snapping off. Um, if I want to put heavier stuff, I might just um, reattach them with some E6000 glue. Dance like a falling for this one we're gonna be using one of these little Dollar Tree frames I'm just gonna detach that round piece and then that wooden block that's holding the round piece and I'm gonna take the hardware off and usually I save the hardware to reuse on different DIYs if I need something to hang with and then I'm also gonna be reusing this um, Oh my gosh, what is this? Oh, the canvas from the frames I used from a different DIY. I'm going to cut it to size and then just hot glue it inside. Like 
you guys on this one was a total afterthought I actually did this way after I was done filming I had to take a trip into my attic several times um, so I used two of these uh, plant stands from Walmart I actually bought them on clearance for two dollars a few years back and I have like four of them and so all I did was flip one over and attach it to the top top of the other one with zip tie and so I'm sorry I don't have the film for it again I didn't even think about it and then I used one of these Dollar Tree planters a gray one and I topped that with one of these cocoa liners or coconut liners what are these called yeah a cocoa liner and then also used three of these bundles of the greenery stumbling out of bed and I still got you in my head from all those pretty words you said it's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face, I'm losing track of time and space. I don't know where I am. It's like I'm waste. This wreath was super simple. I just used one of these newer wreaths from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to keep it just as is in case I want to reuse it for a different DIY. And then I have two bundles of these um, stems from Dollar Tree as well. These are newer to my Dollar Tree. And all I did was just cut the stems off. I kept them nice and long, again, just in case I want to reuse them. Simply just um, weave them through the wreath and in through like the branches and the twine that's wrapped around it I just went all the way around and that was pretty much it could you come a little closer now cuz I don't want to slow this down my heart is screaming out Last but not least, you guys, I use a paper bag for this DIY. It's just obviously a paper bag I had in the stockpile of paper bags. <laughs> and so I just um, scrunched it up, took it apart, scrunched it up, took it apart. I did this several times just to give it a really nice wrinkled effect. And it looks less like a paper bag when you do that. At least I think so. I'm going to wrap it or fold it over a couple of times. And then because it's still a little bigger than what I would like. Um, I did fold in the sides and hot glue them together. said I I will stand by you forever and I won't waste it Know that 
that you're the only thing I see And it makes, makes me cry To think that you are no longer with me going to be it for today. Thank you guys once again so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, I would love it if you guys gave me a thumbs up. You guys already know, I tell you every time, they help me out so, 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 so much. In the comments down below, leave me your comments, questions, concerns, and your shout outs. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye! Didn't I make you feel like you were happy for a while?